In this video, we'll go over how to write a Java program in a simple text editor like Notepad and compile and execute it directly from the command line. Maybe you're just starting out in Java and you want to know how you can run your programs from the command line. Or maybe you've been programming in Java for a while, but you've only run your programs in an IDE like Eclipse. Either way, I've got you covered. My name's John, I'm a lead Java software engineer, and I love sharing what I've learned with you in a clear and understandable way. I also have a full Java course available in a link down in the description if you're interested. Let's get right to it. Okay. First, there's only one thing you have to have installed to get this to work properly, and that is the JDK, the Java Development Kit. If you've already got it installed, awesome. If not, just follow a link down in the description to go and download it, run the installer. It should just take a couple of minutes and you'll be good to go. Let's get started by opening the command prompt window. To do that, just go to the start menu, type in CMD and press enter. I'm doing this in Windows 11, so if you're doing this in Windows 10 or any other version of Windows, it might look a little bit different, but it should still work the same way. First, let's just make sure that the JDK is correctly installed so we know we'll be able to run our Java programs properly. To do that, you can just type in Java space dash version and hit enter. If you see something like this print out that shows the current version of Java that you have installed, you're good to go. If you see some kind of error, like Java is not recognized as a command, that means you don't have the JDK installed. So go and do that in the link down in the description first. Next, we just want to go to whatever folder on your computer that you want to use to put your Java program. For me, I'm just going to put it on the desktop here. So I've just navigated to my desktop folder. Next, let's create the file for our Java program. To do that, just right click anywhere here in the folder and go to new and text document. Then just type in whatever you want to call your Java program. I'm going to call mine, hey there, earth. Everybody always calls theirs hello world, so let's just change it up a bit. Then hit enter to create it. But this just creates a .txt file, not a .java file, and we need to create a .java file to run our program properly. So to change this to a .java file, you need to go up to the menu where it says view, and then go to show and click file name extensions. Again, I'm using Windows 11, so this is what it looks like. For Windows 10, it's very similar. Just go to the View tab at the top and click the checkbox for file name extensions in the Show Hide section. So now we can see it has the TXT file extension. To change that to .java, just right click and go to Rename. Or you can also just hit the F2 key to rename and change the file extension from TXT to .java and hit Enter. You'll probably get a warning about changing the file name. Just go ahead and click yes. Next, we want to open this file so we can write our program in it in Notepad. So just right click the file and go to Open With. And if you don't see Notepad in this list, like I don't have Notepad, just go to Choose Another App. And then here you might have to click More Apps to show more applications. And then Notepad should show there. So just select Notepad and click OK. That'll open your Hey There Earth program right here in Notepad. This is where you'll put whatever code you want for your Java program. We'll keep this one very simple. Class Hey There Earth. Create our public static void main method. String args. We'll just have it print out Hey There Earth. Close the method and close the class. To save the file, just go to File and Save or just hit Control S. Next, let's go back to the command line and navigate to the directory where we made our Java program. So for me, since I put it on the desktop, I just need to type in CD desktop to change my directory to the desktop. And if I want to make sure I'm in the right directory, I can just type in DIR. And here I can see my hey there earth .java program ready to go. So now what do we enter to run our Java program? Well, actually, before we can run it, we have to compile it into something that the computer can understand and run called bytecode. To compile it, we'll use the Java C command. Java C for the Java compiler. Makes sense, right? So just type in Java C and then the name of the file that you want to compile. So for me, it's hey there, earth.java. Make sure you put the .java file extension in there or you'll probably get some kind of error. So just enter that and then press enter. If you don't see any output at all, you don't see any errors or anything, that means that it worked. And to verify that, you can go back out into your folder and see that it created a .class file for your program. So here it's hey there earth .class. This is the bytecode file that I was talking about. So now your program is in a form that you can execute directly. If you have some kind of error in your program, like let's say you didn't end your quote or something, when you go to try and compile your program, hey there, earth.java, you'll get a printout showing where it's running into the compilation error. If you get something like that, just go into your file and fix it, save it, and run the compiler again. 
So like I said, now our program is in bytecode form that we can run. So what's the command to actually run it? Just use the Java command, not Java C, just Java. And then the name of your program. So hey there, earth. For this command, you don't need to type out the .java file extension. And then press enter. So it printed out, hey there, earth, and that's what our program was supposed to do. So it ran successfully. So doing it from the command line is a little bit more work than just clicking the run button in your IDE. But it's not really too hard. It just takes a couple of commands. And it's just something that every Java programmer should know. You should know how to run simple Java programs from the command line like this. If you enjoyed this video or learned something, please let me know by leaving a like. And be sure to subscribe for tons more great Java tutorials. And continue your Java learning right now with one of these videos below. As always, thank you so much for being here with me. I'll see you next time.